After working as a data scientist for three years, I want to give you a list of all the courses, books, and tools that have really helped me in my journey. And hopefully you can find equal value in them as well. As there are quite a few, I'm going to break them down into the following categories, Python, SQL, Maths, Machine Learning, and other forms of media like newsletters and blogs. Let's get into it. Python is by far the most important language to learn for data science. However, even though all these books and courses I'm gonna list are very useful, the best teacher is practice. So even though I recommend that you do these courses and study these textbooks, the most value or the best way you will learn Python is just through consistent practice and creating projects. Anyway, my main suggestions are the free code camp four hour course on Python. This is the first ever course I took on Python and it's amazing. Like I said, it's only four hours long, so you can literally do it in half a day. The second course is the Python for Everybody specialization from the University of Michigan on Coursera. This is probably the most cited Python course I've seen online and it has the most reviews and best reviews on Coursera for good reason. This course is great. It'll teach you to enter into Python very well. HackerRank is a great platform for practicing your Python and coding skills. A lot of companies would use HackerRank or something like LeetCode to test you on at interviews. So being familiar and studying and also learning from these platforms is very useful. And finally, it's the W3Schools tutorial on Python. It's completely free and I still use it to this day as a form of reference text. I also have a whole other video explaining exactly how I would learn Python if I was starting from scratch again. I'll link your screen here in case you want to check it out. Now SQL is the second programming language you should learn alongside Python. It's quite different because it's not really a scripting language, it's mainly used for databases, but as the phrase goes, SQL is the language of data. And like Python, the following resources I will list will teach you SQL, but by far the best teacher is consistent practice and building projects. So again, use these courses and books to learn SQL, but then make sure you do your own exercises, own projects, and just continually practice because like I said, that's how you really build intuition, knowledge, and understanding behind anything. The courses I recommend are the Complete SQL Bootcamp on Udemy. This is the first SQL course I took and it's fantastic. Not only did it teach me the SQL syntax, it also taught me basically how to set up SQL end to end, like through the infrastructure, setting up databases, etc. So I really recommend it. LearnSQL.com is an excellent website for learning and also upskilling your SQL skills. It has so many courses and it even gives you an initial skill assessment that you can take that will basically rank your SQL abilities and tell you on the areas they need to improve upon and suggest courses to help you learn those things. Similar to Python, HackerRank is really useful to practice your SQL skills and many companies will use HackerRank, LeetCode, etc for initial interview screening. So being familiar with these platforms and the types of questions you'll be asked is very useful for the, any interviews you may have. And finally, W3Schools, again, fantastic tutorial, completely free, and I still use it to this day as a reference text for any SQL syntax I may need. For maths and statistics, the following three books and YouTube channel I'm going to recommend you will set you up pretty much perfectly for career in data science unless you want to go into more specialist types of research, but that's a whole different ball game. The first book I recommend is this one, which is the Practical Statistics for Data Science textbook. Not only is it just a great book in general, but it's specifically designed for data scientists. So all the statistics knowledge you will gain from this book will be directly applicable to any data role you have. It even also has tutorials in Python, so you can really practice applying uh, all these statistical concepts in Python like you would in a real job in data science. The second book is a mathematics for machine learning textbook. This one is a bit more advanced, but it's phenomenal. If you learn all the maths within this book, you pretty much be, you know, more even an advanced level of other data scientists out there because yes, some of the concepts are a bit more tricky to understand, but if you learn them, you really understand how all machine learning kind of works under the hood and you have a really deep intuition behind how these algorithms actually learn. The third book is this one, which is the Elements of Statistical Learning. Again, this book is quite advanced and obviously quite dense. There's a lot of like deep mathematical theory and I don't recommend necessarily studying it end to end because, well, it just takes so much time. 
but use it like a reference text, and that's what I do. So it has, you know, so many concepts, so much maths. Um, again, if you have something you want to learn and understand properly, then refer to this book. Because like I said, it'll teach you everything in a really deep level, which is really useful to know if you want to be a top tier data scientist. And finally, I can't recommend enough the YouTube channel Stats Quest by Josh Starmer. It basically teaches you every concept in data science, but in a really, really easily understandable way. So if you're struggling to learn anything, see his videos on it, because I promise you after watching his videos, you understand it very well. The following list I'm going to give you will pretty much cover all your bases, all the way from basic machine learning, all the way to the advanced stuff like LLMs. And there's a slight kind of overlap with the books I recommended in the previous section, but a lot of the tutorials and courses and books I'm going to list here are more specific to machine learning and actually applying it in practice. If I had to give you only one book to learn data science and machine learning, it would be this one. The Hands-On Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn, Keras and TensorFlow. This book is an absolute gold mine. I think, like I said, if you had to get one book to learn data science, it would be this one. It teaches you everything you need to know, including the maths, statistics and all that theory. And it also gives you hands-on examples. It starts from like right at the beginning from the basic machine learning, what is machine learning, how data science works. And then right at the end, even goes into all the advanced topics like RNNs, reinforcement learning, and even touched upon LLMs. So by far in a way, this is the best book I recommend that if you have to get one, make sure you get this one. It's absolutely amazing. And pretty much every data scientist recommends this book. So it is for good reason. A course I really recommend is Andrew Ung's Machine Learning Specialization on Coursera. This was the first machine learning course I ever took and it's absolutely amazing. It's more kind of on the theory side than the hands-on tutorials, but there's a mix of both. So you do a lot of mathematics behind how these algorithms work and then you apply them in a Python notebook. So this course, by far and away, I really recommend you start with that course if you're thinking of any machine learning tutorial because it's by far the best. After taking the machine learning specialization, I also recommend then taking the subsequent course, which is the deep learning specialization. This one is a lot more focused on neural networks, LLMs, uh, RNNs, CNNs, just everything deep learning. And again, if you want to learn all that cutting edge stuff, then this course is by far the best one. If you really want to learn about AI and LLMs, then the Neural Networks Zero to Hero course by Andre Kapafi is by far the best choice you can make. It starts off quite simple, just teaching you the basics of neural networks, but right at the end, you're basically making your own GPT model, which is the model behind uh, ChatGPT. So again, fantastic course. It's a video course on YouTube, completely free, and you just can't go wrong with it. You're, you're basically going to be taught LLMs and neural networks, but pretty much the leading researcher in the field. And finally, another book I've been using quite a lot recently is this one, Algorithms Optimization. Again, I'm not reading it end to end. It's more of a reference text for me to learn more about optimization algorithms because machine learning is just an optimization algorithm or a differentiable one for most cases. And this book, great reference text. It'll give you a lowdown of all the algorithms you may ever need to solve any problem. So again, really recommend this if you want to check it out. Uh, again, use it as a reference text. Don't necessarily need to read it end to end unless you really want to. I also have whole separate videos explaining the exact roadmap I would follow if I was learning machine learning and AI completely again from scratch. I'm linking them on screen here in case you want to check them out. I also learn a lot from other forms of media like Twitter, blogs, YouTube, newsletters, etc. So I want to give you a small list of all the kind of people I follow. Uh, newsletters I use to gain this knowledge on a daily basis. On Twitter, I just follow some of the big AI researchers and leaders like Emmett Hassabasis, Sam Altman, Andre Kapafi, and Lex Friedman. Again, just follow a range and that way you'll always be up to date with any new developments in the field. For newsletters, I recommend Data Bytes, To Be a Data Scientist, Case Data Ladder, and Serious Techies. These newsletters have a range of technical deep dives to advice on breaking into the field. So there'll be something there for you that you'll find useful. For YouTube, I recommend following Fireship, Two Minute Papers, Lex Freeman, and Yannick Kilcher. Again, these are kind of a range from just interviews for the Lex Freeman podcast to really deep mathematical deep dives on research papers. So again, there'll be something there that you'll find useful. 
And finally, I recommend you follow some of the big tech blogs like Meta, Spotify, Airbnb, DeepMind. Just all the big tech companies will have some sort of uh, blogging platform where they post their latest findings and latest research. If you enjoyed this video and you want more data science advice like this, then make sure you check out my weekly newsletter, Edition Data. I send it every Monday morning and it's all about my thoughts and experiences as a practicing data scientist. If that sounds interesting, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out.